And some of the world's top aerial acts will be flying into town this weekend, and our economy is expected to soar as a result as well. Kelly King getting answers about the Dayton Air Show's economic impact. The Veteran Dayton Air Show is considered one of the top shows in the country, if not the world. Last year, it drew about 65,000 people to the air show. This year, it's hoping for even more with two jet teams taking to the skies. Wonderful opportunity for us to showcase the Dayton area while the event is taking place. Dayton's premier event is taking off this weekend. Thousands are expected to pour into the birthplace of aviation for the 2015 Vectran Dayton Air Show. Along with the high flying headliners comes a big economic boost with an estimated $3 million pumped into our local economy. This is everything from people who are visiting and staying in our hotels, uh, spending money uh, at our retail establishments, dining in our restaurants, uh, purchasing fuel, perhaps renting a car. Some of the folks may be flying in. And of course, you know, all of the people that are purchasing a ticket to go to the air show. While all eyes will be on the skies, organizers are hoping visitors will also set their sights on the other attractions Dayton has to offer. We urge them to visit the, the National Park, we, the Dayton Aviation Heritage National Historical Park. We urge them to visit uh, the uh, National Museum of the United States Air Force. Of course, uh, Caroline uh, Park and Dayton history with the 1905 Wright Flyer is a wonderful opportunity to see where aviation began right here in our community. As performers soar into town, organizers say they're ready to welcome people to the home of the Wright brothers for an aerial performance unlike any other. What a great opportunity for us again to uh, show the world what we have to offer here. The Veteran Dayton Air Show is June 20th and 21st. Of course, we will have continuing coverage right here all week. And don't forget, WDTN is your source for all things air show. Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.